Today we're going to answer the question, are Scott Stokely's discs good? I threw them a couple times at my house, but we're going to get some warm-up shots in this field, and then we're going to play this course that I'm making some changes to. I actually went to shoot this video last month, but it was in a more open course, and it was super windy. It was not going to work. Today, also windy, but we have a few more holes that are in the woods. I also don't know the flight numbers for these. They're pre-production prototypes, and I'm not going to look them up until after this video, even if there are numbers. I don't even know. First one's the putter, a base plastic, the Wren. We have a headwind. My first throw with my friend's disc are on some rocks. I think that was on Anheuser. The mid-range, not putter plastic. This is more premium. The Cardinal, thermoplastic. Oh, that's what it's called. I'll have to find out what that putter plastic one's name is. The putter plastic's name is... I can't read it. Strato plastic. That's cool. Strato? Strato. We actually just had a big storm roll through here last night, like all day yesterday actually. So today all I got with me is my camera, two discs, and a towel, which I think is perfect, especially for like Scott Stokely having like his online course and teaching beginners. I think having a mid-range and a putter come out first for your discs, like super smart. Even though the, the mid-range, I feel like it's overstable. Wind died down, let's throw them back and then we'll get started. Here's the putter again. Yeah, very neutral putter. Oh, and I got a grip lock. Oh, I missed everything. <laughs> you're watching Flippy James Disc Golf. My name is James, happy you're here. Oh no! So this is a course I play often, mainly when I do putter reviews. We're gonna switch it up though. A couple of the holes I'm gonna change as I'll shoot in the last video here. I noticed like some alternate holes. There's an alternate front nine already, but, but I have like a completely different alternate front nine, like halfway. I'm saying this because I know a lot of people that play this course watch these videos. So after you watch this one, you might wanna come out and play this new layout. I might do front and back 90 day. We don't even know. I don't even know. Who's we? I'm playing two off the tee for every shot and then just gonna putt with the Wren from whichever one's closest. For this first one, we're gonna go backhand at it and then forehand with the mid range just to see how torque resistant it is. Right at it with the Wren. I took some off of that. Oh gosh. I thought the left or right was gonna help move you over here for my attempt of a forehand. Scott Stokely, if you happen to watch this video, just feel free to roast my forehand in the comments. Oh, all right, here we go. That was so soft. Oh, not bad though. Can you imagine Scott Stokely watches this video, then drops his link to the comments and he, for this course, and he's like, I think you need this. <laughs> I probably do. So he does have his paid course, but he also has a ton of free content on YouTube. That feels nice, by the way. So if you have it, you need some tips for beginners, even like amateurs, go check out his YouTube channel for sure. For this hole, sometimes people think it's that basket, but it's actually way up here. You see it? That was hole one. This is hole two. We're playing the regular layout for this. And then hole three, something completely different. I can almost guarantee no one's ever played before here. Starting with the Wren. Tailwind, uphill, 230-ish. Wow. Strong tailwind. Gonna put the Cardinal on Anheuser. See if we get to flex over to the basket. That was perfect. Right between those trees. Like I said, I've thrown these in my backyard and I remember I had liked the stability of this Cardinal. It's overstable, but it's not like too beefy. And it's like, when you put it on the angle, as you saw here, it held the turn, but then fought back and slowly faded. It wasn't like, uh, boom, you know what I mean? It was, it's really nice. I actually raved about it to my friend Kyle, who is actually the person that let me borrow these discs. So shout out to my buddy. Uh, this is normal, hole three right here. You have to go down these fairways, miss some trees, the basket's way up there. Hard to see on camera. We're playing this way, back over to hole one's basket, 
and then the next hole we're gonna make up too. So for regular hole three, there's this yellow line on this concrete tee pad, like the th James Conradish tee pad of all. It's like for like, like shuffleboard, only concrete, I don't know. We're throwing downhill to hole one's basket. I'm gonna call these trees right here, Mando left. We're taking the Wren first again. And then that creek we cross for hole one, let's call that OB if you pass it. Oh man, threw that a little bit up in the air. We're safe though. I think forehand here is smart. I just don't think my forehand's good for this disc. And we'll give it a shot. I need, I need to hype myself up more. That wasn't bad. Putting into a headwind here. We're probably 40 feet out. Oh man. Why did I throw that so high? Oh my gosh. Super muddy. Two down through three. Another made up hole here. We're gonna use this rock as the tee pad. So this is actually eight's fairway. You come from, you can probably see the trash can and the tee pad. You come up this way and the basket's here. Uh, seven's basket is behind that tee pad and blue trash can to the left. I'm gonna throw standstill because it is like sideways on this hill. I think it'd be really cool to put this into the woods a little bit, clear it out so you have to shoot out of the woods to here, but we're playing this for today. Oh man. Oh, I hit a tree, sorry Carl. I felt like that gap was way closer. It's weird looking at it this way. That's the shot for this hole right there. This is fun. I love making it different and look at this fairway. It's awesome. My location in my head for this was a little off. I thought this was farther up here. We got a putt to make. Uh, why am I putting it on Anheuser? That was a mistake I used to make when I was putting. Currently two down through four. From that basket, you just walk up through the woods, come to hole four for this new layout. We're gonna play four, five, six, seven, and nine. And that's gonna complete the front nine of this course. So only two alternate shots. I have some more in my head, but we're not doing them today. So far, the Cardinal, the, the mid-range, kind of reminds me of a Rock 3. And the Wren reminds me of maybe an AVR or maybe a P2. I don't remember what the AVR is like. I don't even know why I thought that. Maybe because I th was thinking Innova. Yeah, more like a P2, I would say. Put some music on, enjoy these next five holes. Let's redo that. Oh my gosh, that's three times today I pulled this disc. Cardinal on forehand. Go, 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 go. Oh, right in front of me. Super strong headwind right now. Run first. A little durability test. I've hit a couple of trees with this Strato, Strato plastic Wren. It's holding up. That was just a little branch. They didn't hit a tree. The little swoopy guy, two hyzer. That was bad. Throwing this cardinal flat straight at the tree in the middle of the fairway. Oh man, they just got lifted by the wind. This is horrible. Horribly played. I think I have a better shot from where the wren was than in the woods with that cardinal. Probably can't see the basket. If I would have threw the disc. All right, I'm gonna put out. 
I'm gonna go and try and find that cardinal. In. Oh, I thought that was in. That little bit of Annie coming this way with this left to right, right to left, I'm backwards now, smacked it down. If you didn't know, that's how wind works against putting. Maybe that'll help you out. Would it help me out if I would have remembered that? So it took me about 30 minutes to not find that disc. And then I had gotten this sorcerer back from someone who found it, lost this like over three years ago, put all my stuff up, threw it around the course just a little bit, just to see how it flew. And then I was like, all right, let's go back over. Let's try and find it one more time. I went on the other side of all those trees and it was like almost in the cemetery over there. I look up, there's a perfect gap and it just, it went through everything, didn't touch a thing. So. I got the Cardinal back. Don't have to buy one for Kyle. Let's go. We're going to throw the Wren and the Cardinal again down with this left to right wind. Then we're going to throw it back with the right to left. And I'm going to try and show you what I was explaining. Now we got a tail. Here we go. Crazy wind. I'm going to try and show you what I was explaining about the Cardinal and that type of flight that I expect to see out of it that I think I'll really like. It's so windy. Oh, my jacket doesn't really show it. It's hitting me hard. The Cardinal, I'm going to throw this flat. Again, what I was talking about with the putting. Like, we have a left to right wind. Throw in that Wren on Heiser. Like, it's just going to smack it down. So, for the Cardinal, I'm going to throw it flat. See if it'll keep it in the air like this. And I actually don't know if we're going to see a fade on it or not. Because of how strong these gusts are. Rin again, we're going to try and throw the rin flat as possible. Oh no, Dan Heiser. The wind's so strong. Now it's going to do the opposite. It's going to make it a bit understable. With the Cardinal, let's see if it does. I'm going to try and get this to flex. Damn. The wind's too strong, so we're going to make it a tailwind now. I just realized that I'm not putting the part in where I explained my thoughts on the discs like after I had lost it because then I went back and found it right so the Wren great putter for how it feels I'm gonna throw one more time don't worry the plastic of it I like the grip it's like it's smooth but grippy at the same time it's it feels really good I'm a fan for the Cardinal when it's not crazy windy <laughs> I think this is gonna be that disc that you can just rip on as hard as you want flat and it's gonna hold that line and then have a reliable fade at the end. It's not just gonna be like a slow, like to the ground fade. It's still gonna have some fade, but it's not gonna be so beefy that you're not gonna get a long flight out of it. I think he nailed it with this disc. I'm, I'm excited to find it. I was, gosh, words right now. I'm happy I found it because I want Kyle to throw it and he hasn't yet. Here's a look at the Cardinal for you. Here is the Wren. All right, let's try one more throw with both of these. Much better. Oh man, I thought I was gonna make it over the concrete for sure. I'm so mean to Kyle's discs. This will make it over the concrete for sure. We got the we got the tailwind. Gonna put it on Anheuser. Make sure I get the nose down. Let's see this nice little S flight. Like I said, over the concrete. I wish we had less wind today, but I think that there was enough throws in the video where you can kind of tell how they fly, especially like on the made up hole four. I really like that flight. The the Wren is just gonna be your neutral putter. Confirm, Scott Stokely makes your discs, whoever makes them. I don't, I don't know where they come from. I don't know anything about them, but their names, now the names of their plastic and Hopefully you know how they fly. Thank Kyle in the comments for me for letting me borrow his disc again. He always hooks it up. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. Helps out the channel. Happy you're here. We'll see you in the next one. The next one might have an update about a bunch more discs coming to the channel. We'll see. Maybe, maybe two from now. I don't know.